Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Baron Grutter. I wanted to make a quick video to help uh, those of you out there that are looking to upload and view DICOM cases you get from other uh, referring doctors. Uh, and if you don't have a software that is ready to upload them with, I just wanted to point out that if you come to Blue Sky Bio, blueskyplan.com, there is a free software that will allow you to uh, view these DICOMs. It also has other options as far as guided surgery and uh, ortho and whatnot, but if all you're looking to do is view it, it is, a, is still a free software to download and use. So we're gonna, we, after you download it, you install it, this is what the software is going to look like. Now, right now, we are in the orthodontic module, so it's gonna look a lot different than any of your typical DICOM softwares. So first thing we want to do is you, you can kind of familiarize yourself with some of the different tools up here um, but mostly if we're just going to be viewing uh, there's not a whole lot of need for a lot of the, the top menus the first thing we will do though is want to make sure that we are in a viewing mode right now if I click on module we're in orthodontics if I come over to surgical guide I can click right here on viewing there's normal and advanced these are for actually designing surgical guides if all you're looking to do is simply review the diacom we'll just click here on viewing it will change views there are a variety of views that you might prefer to use um, it, we would find them under perspectives some people are more familiar with the NPR view um, and you can pick whichever one you want. Of course, if you look to the right, you'll see the various uh, function shortcuts if you'd like. I prefer to stick with the, uh, the uh, Implant Tangential uh, 3, uh, but that's usually because I'm planning a surgical guide. Okay, so once you've got the software open, to open up to uh, a new DICOM, you can simply click right here, at, which is a shortcut for Start Patient from CT Scan. If you click on File, it's the same thing under this menu. Be aware you're not opening a project. This is not a project that you have begun working on. If you have begun reviewing it and you made some notes and you want to open it back up, this would be the button. But if this is a new scan, just stay, uh, save the effort, click here, and it will bring up a file browser. Now me, the example I have here is right on my desktop in a folder called example, example diacom, and here was the file. You can see, as I showed earlier, this is the folder and I just this is where it would have come if it's on a, a, a disk the same thing you're just gonna find that file that DICOM you don't have to keep clicking just click right here click OK and let the software load it up it's going if you have multiple DICOMs on here it's gonna list each one of them so you can pick which one for instance um, you may have been tracking a patient over time and you may have a variety of them on this disk or in this folder so pick the one you want to open most of the time most of us will only have one to select click here and now the one thing that is important is this is an opportunity to correct any misalignments when taking the scan if someone took the scan and their chin was too far down or too far up it's take the opportunity to correct it now because it's going to help all of your other viewing to be uh, tangential and more uh, ideal easier to do you can crop it as well if you'd like most of the time I don't spend a lot of time doing that perhaps here um, if you're planning a case and you want to minimize the data and increase the speed at which your computer works it is sometimes ideal to trim it down but for the most part this uh, plan of occlusion looks pretty flat here everything looks good I'm gonna click OK now the the software will load the DICOM and I, I want to walk you through just a couple of the different screens uh, and just kind of keep this brief but to give you an idea of what you're doing. Right now, this is the 3D viewer screen. All of these screens have these little buttons in the top right. If I click right here, it will maximize the window, and now it's full screen. I can look at this window. Click it again, and it drops back down. If you notice, there's a lot of scatter on this 3D rendering. This little slider bar on the bottom will allow us to minimize the scatter, okay? So maybe we want to clean it up like this and then move forward. Up here, if I want to slide through the pan, I can simply wheel my mouse forward and backward and you can see the slice travels back and forth. If I click on an area anywhere in here, the blue line tell, helps me to uh, shows this slice throughout the entire arch. Okay? And then the various colors here, the blue, the yellow, and the red, represent these slices shown right here. 
These are all one millimeter apart from one another. You can tell by the demarcation up here. Okay? This screen right here, if you want, you can actually change the panoramic curve shape if you don't believe it's very accurate. You can make it wider or thinner. Um, I am so used to the surgical guide panel. There is, and that may, you may have to be in the, um, uh, in the uh, advanced module to change the curve. Um, I'll show you that right quick, just in case you want to know. Click on uh, advanced. It's going to add a little toolbar over here. Get back to the other uh, view. Not really sure why it changed, but there we go. And now these little nodes, we can drag them around, and you see that the panoramic rendering down here changes uh, along, right along with that. I I am right clicking to zoom out my screen. It is not actually zooming in on you know moving the slice. It's just zooming out. So I can grab this little node, bring that in here, and that's about it. Okay. So let's go back into the normal the uh, viewing mode because I want to strictly stick to the basics here. So I can wheel around here. I can wheel up and down. And you can see my blue slice going up and down as I wheel my mouse. If I hover over this window, hover over this window. And then this one right here, watch the entire panoramic curve. Goes in and out. Okay. And then right here, this is essentially the green slice where you can actually slide around or rotate. So if you've got one tooth that you really want to check out, you can focus in on that tooth and then you can spin around it. This is ideal with implant planning to see where the, the implant is going to be with relation to the bone all around, but again, that's an advanced topic. Beyond that, um, there, there are measurement tools up here. These measurement tools will work in the 2D views, not the 3D. If you, when you're done with this, simply click right back over here, and this is the this allows you to move things around without activating the tools. If you want to check angles, it's right here. And so there you go. Beyond that, you can also change the uh, contrast, and which I rarely ever do, as you can see. Yeah, here you go. It's in the pan curve, sorry. Um, I'm just clicking and dragging down and up and left and right brightness and contrast. And about I think that's about it. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you want to map nerves, that is going to be an advanced function. Okay, so feel free to uh, wander into those modules as well. If you look at my YouTube channel, I have a whole series on using the guided surgery uh, module, and that goes over a lot of the how to add a tooth, how to map a nerve, some of the base, how to add a virtual tooth, before you even get into the actual complexity of um, uh, planning surgical guides. So there's a little more tools there. This is just a quick little glimpse of the uh, viewer module. Hopefully that helps you, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.